live, go live, go live, go live. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to the vibe. Welcome to the vibe. Let me tell the people over there on Instagram, come holler at us on YouTube because we live, baby. We live at the vibe. Let's see. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, it's a good day. It's going to be a good week. It's Jazzy birthday week. <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. Look at that. Welcome to the vibe. What's up, people? We live. We live over on YouTube. Come on, YouTube. We live. Live at the vibe. Let me see what I got here. Hey, Ma, what's going on? We live. Live at the vibe. Come check us out today. Live at the vibe. Oh, I got to get my stand. One second. I got to get a stand for the phone. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the vibe, people. Okay, so yesterday I said that I was going to start the mushrooms. So that's what we're going to do today. Oh, I can't put it that way. Let's put it this way. Uh, space is the place. I need some space. Uh, who got that reference? Space is the place. Who knows it? <laughs> All right, that's better. So now we bam, bam, live there, live here. We got it going. All right, live from the vibe. So today, what we're going to do is mushrooms, organic mushrooms. So uh, I've never grown mushrooms on my own before. I've only done them as a part of a mushroom growing class. So this is going to be my first attempt at growing mushrooms. So... Uh, I'm using this Back to the Roots Organic Mushroom Grow Kit. So I'm going to check this out today. Um, you have to soak it overnight. So that's the part that we're going to do today. I'm going to soak it and I'll come back and show you all the progress. And then it should be uh, mushrooms mature very fast. So seven to 10 days, um, we should have mushrooms. So this time next week, I should have mushrooms seven to 10 days. So I'm going to pop this open and see what it says here so it says day one uh get started open the box from the top and soak bag overnight so that's all the steps we can do right now and then we're going to get some succession planting done that we were supposed to do yesterday but i want to make sure i get my greens going before it's too late because october is almost over let's check it out so so these are the things that come in the grow kit. So I have this little spray bottle because you're supposed to spray your mushrooms every day. This little spray bottle here. So we'll check that one out. And then um, it has all of the instructions here. It gives you your grow guide for your mushrooms. So on this side. And then on the back, it even gives you... Um, some websites to go to for different recipes. So it looks like they have a, a mushroom uh, gear quiche and pan fried mushrooms with rosemary. I'm also growing rosemary, uh, mushroom spinach. I'm growing spinach and basil. I might do this with mushroom spinach and basil pizza because that could be like a whole vibe pizza because I have all of those things growing. Um, yeah, some little activities on the back, a little cross crossword puzzle some fungi trivia let's see we'll do that at the end that might be fun all right so first things first let's see day one uh give them light remove your kits uh perforated panel and cut an x into the substrate bag so we're gonna do that so it says i'm gonna take off this perforated part i'll just bust that open ah. oh. maybe not so easy okay it says to use scissors, but it feels like it's coming coming off pretty easy. Okay, so now I've taken the panel off the front of the box. So you just remove this. This was here, and it was perforated. Take it off. So took that off, and it was easy. It says to use scissors, but I just used my hands. I was 
you know, gentle and poking around and taking it off. And now our next step says, um, da -da 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 -da. and cut an X into the substrate bag. So it wants me to cut an X right here on the bag. So I have a knife right here. So I'm going to do that. So X, X marks the spot. So we've got an X there. That looked like a pretty good X. And then what else we have here? I don't know if I'm supposed to cut that. So mm, I ain't going to cut it. Mm -hmm. and then put an X, another line on the other side. Get us a good X going here. So that's done. What? Let's see. Make sure it goes all the way down. I'm cutting all the way through because it looks like it's too, it's double bagged, it looks like. So I'm making sure I cut through both of them. Okay, so now I have my X that I cut on the bag. Say welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for everybody who's joining the live stream. So today we're uh, starting mushrooms, the Back to Your Roots uh, Mushroom Grow Kit. These are going to be oyster mushrooms. And so far, I've only opened the box, cut an X, and let's see what our next step is. Okay, scrape, uh, scrape them awake. So lift the plastic flaps that we just created with the X and lightly scratch away some of the white layer with the fork. Ah! I thought I, I thought I was prepared. I thought I had everything. So now I need to go get a fork. I brought a knife, but not a fork. I'll be right back. <clears throat> All right, I'm back. So now it wants us to lift these flaps. So I'm gonna lift the flaps here on each side and it says to scrape away the white layer to like rough it up. So I'm gonna do that right now. So, ah, uh, did I cut deep enough? Yep. All right, so I'm gonna lift these flaps. I'm not sure. Let me see if I up. Oh, yep. You all can't see it if I do that. So lift the flaps here. Lift them all up. There we go. So got all my flaps and now I'm just going to scrape. And it says to scrape them awake. So, hey, wake up. <laughs> Wake up, mushrooms. You had the vibe. Wake up. Wake up, mushrooms. Scraping you awake. Hello. To the other side. Scrape it up. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the vibe, little mushrooms. So you just scrape it up. All right, I think I've done a pretty good job of scraping all of the white layer. So I've done that. Ah, get back in there. Okay, so now you'll see this is what it looks like now. Now that I've scraped, scraped it awake, it says. <laughs> Rise and shine. Yep, wake up. Let me see. Now it says give them a bath. <laughs> so you wake them up, then you give them a bath. <laughs> so I guess they got the same life cycle as us. Okay, remove the substrate from the from box and soak it face down in a bowl of water overnight or six to ten hours. The bag will float and don't worry if some substrate falls out. So it says don't worry if some of it falls out. So now time to give you a bath. So this is our we scrape the layer away scraped all of our uh the white layer off and our next step ah drop my smoothie that's okay ah. yeah. 
smoothie. Put it, uh, it's run out of space around here. Let's see, put it over here. All right, so I do have a container that's already, already ready, ready to go. Put some water in it. Here it is, right here. So there's my container with water. Looks like something got in there. All right, so we got the container and it says remove substrate from the box. Oh. So do that. And you leave the plastic and everything, you leave it just like that. So I took it out, out of the box and it says to turn it face down and give it a bath. So here we go. And it says don't worry if some of it some of the substrate floats out so it's supposed to do that so that's what it looks like and we're ready let me see let me show let's flip it and show on instagram that's what it looks like so it says give it a bath so i'm gonna bring it inside and just let it sit on the counter overnight and in the morning i'll do our next step so we'll flip that back over also, let me see here. Now I'll get a couple of pictures while I'm at it. So we start it here. All right. Starting some mushrooms. Starting some mushrooms. All right. We back back on the live on old Instagram. All right. So I'm going to take this one inside and I'm going to move the table to make sure I don't spill anything. All right. I'm going to take this one inside. All right, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Back at the vibe. We back at the vibe. So the next thing, so that was fun. I'm excited to see what happens. I'm going to just look over what the rest of the instructions are for tomorrow. So it says give them a bath, remove. We did that part. Soak for six, six to ten hours or overnight. It says find a cozy home. So tomorrow... After the six to 10 hours, it'll say, uh, now that you've woken up your organic mushrooms, shake off excess water from the bag and place it back into the box. So don't throw this box away because you're going to use it. So keep this box. Don't throw it away. Um, where was I? Mushrooms will grow best in a spot with indirect sunlight. So you don't want it to have direct sunlight. It says indirect sunlight. Um uh, facing away from a window is perfect. It'll take up to one week for your mushrooms to start growing. So what I'll do is I'll probably just place it right next to the habaneros and I'll place this side towards the window so it's not getting direct light and I'll place this side towards my living room so the mushrooms will grow out of the front of this box. So I'll put that to the side and save it for tomorrow. And that's about it. It says four steps. Um, it says day two to six water and learn. So twice a day, you have to, uh, lift the plastic flaps and use your spray bottle, um, and spray it, uh, it says seven to eight times. It even gives you the number of sprays. So seven to eight times a day. So, or seven to eight sprays, two times a day. So you'll do that. And that's how you're going to take care of your mushrooms and grow your mushrooms. So, and let's see, I did say that I wanted to do the trivia on the back. So let's see what they, let's see, check your answers on the recipe panel. Okay, on that one. Okay, so number one, how many varieties of edible mushrooms are there? 100, 1,000, 500, or 10,000? And I'm think I'm going to go with D, 10,000. I think there's a lot of, uh, 
lot of mushrooms around because they grow in varied places and depending on what they're growing next to you can get all different types of mushrooms so let's check and see what the answer was up oh, one ten thousand correct <laughs> all right number two this is a true or false true or false mushrooms breathe like humans taking in oxygen and emitting carbon dioxide and i'm going to go with true just because i saw that episode of uh what was it was it called hannibal the hannibal show where the guy like killed somebody and was growing mushrooms on him let's <laughs> anyway let's see what the answer is uh true number two true mushrooms do breathe like humans and take in oxygen emitting carbon dioxide so that's cool and then i'll do one more so we can save some when we do our check-in because there's seven listed here so number seven mushrooms are one of the few natural sources of blank which works with calcium to build strong bones and teeth and our answer choices are vitamin d vitamin b12 sugar or protein and i know this one is a uh, vitamin d let's check yes <laughs> uh mushrooms are one of the few natural sources of vitamin d which works with calcium to provide strong bones and strong teeth and also another um fun fact about mushrooms is that anytime you're getting ready to cook any type of culinary mushroom you should chop it up and sit it in the sun for a while because that releases more of the vitamin D and it makes it easier for your body to absorb more of that vitamin D. So if you're, uh, that's a little tip when you're getting ready to cook your mushrooms. So I'll put that back in the box so we can answer our next uh, trivia questions later. So let's see some of the, I'll turn the camera around so you all can see some of the updates that we've done in the garden since yesterday. So let's see, can we? So this plant here is our jalapeno pepper. So of course it looks uh, a little lighter because I trimmed a lot of the leaves off. Um, I trimmed a lot of the extra stems just so that we can get more of the energy going to develop our nice peppers. I'm hoping that I'll be able to make jalapeno poppers next week with vegan cheese. I'm going to do jalapeno. That might be a small bite. I might make it a small bite where I do uh, vegan jalapeno poppers. So right now it looks like I got about one, two, three, four, uh, four. And then there's some little ones on there, but four big ones. So we'll see. We'll see how many jalapeno poppers I'll be able to make next week. And the water looks good there. I need to water the lettuce. So let's uh, move it over here. So this is our lettuce. And look how much this lettuce grew overnight. I came out here this morning and I was like, hold on. <laughs> I said, hold on. This, this lettuce didn't look like this yesterday. It's like, look how much this lettuce grew overnight. You got all this lettuce. I definitely got to make a salad before the birds eat it or, you know. So salad definitely tonight. Um or, yeah, I'll do salad for dinner. And it's it's good to eat leafy greens uh, for dinner because they help burn up whatever, you know, you put in your stomach the rest of the day. So lots of, uh, oh, we got a bug. Hey, what are you doing? Get out of there. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Everybody looks good. So I'm just going to give it some water, just regular water today. Regular, regular water. So looks pretty good. I know our peas and carrots, they still don't need water. They're, um, still doing really good these are i have three uh peas and carrots that are growing right here in the uh vertical containers i have i thought that pepper plant was not going to produce but after this season but after i trimmed it let me bring it over so you all can get a closer look of it after i trimmed it up yesterday look what happened 
after I trimmed the some of the leaves off, I came out and I saw these little buds. <laughs> Say, hey, buds. There they are. I got but lots of, so it looks like there are about 10 buds on here. So I might actually get some peppers on this this season that I wasn't expecting. So more peppers from the vibe. I'm going to make some hot sauce. I'm definitely making habanero hot sauce because I have so many habanero peppers inside. And if the cayenne produces more, then I'll do some uh, cayenne hot sauce too. But definitely habanero. And this one is looking really, really good. So, and actually, I'm going to give it some water because I can see, like, if I stick my finger down, say it's not, yeah, the soil's damp, but I'm going to just give it a little, not too much, because uh, as everyone knows, uh, growing on the patio, I don't put holes in my containers because I stay on the top floor or, or a second floor. So, I don't want the water to leak down. So, I try not to overwater uh, because there are no holes in my containers. So I'll uh, hit it with a little bit today and just to soak through. Yep, that's enough. And with the plastic containers, you can see you can see the water as it absorbs. So you know how much water your plant is get, getting. So you can see it going down, going down, going down. So over here hey instagram <laughs> going down going down all right hey 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 thank you all for checking in at the vibe so more peppers so lots lots of uh peppers coming all right and now i'm getting ready to turn the camera so that you all can see i did end up trimming up the tomato plant yesterday so i trimmed a lot i trimmed it back a lot um, and hopefully that'll help it just finish uh, getting nutrients to the one tomato that's left growing on that tomato plant. And I did see a couple of new ones. So I'm going to go and get some Q-tips and see if I can hand pollinate my squash and also hand pollinate my um, tomato plant. And I know my mint needs water. So I'm going to water uh, the mint. And also, I'll give you all an update on the Thai basil. Yesterday, I said that it had a little uh, powdery mildew on my Thai basil. So what I did was, where is it? I made a spray bottle. This is just regular uh, water. And also, I might have taken it back inside, but water and peroxide. I don't see the peroxide bottle. Mm. Yeah, so this is what, so I filled it up to about here with water. So not that much peroxide and then about that much. And I sprayed from it, you know, yesterday. So in about that much peroxide that I put in the bottle. So, and I sprayed the Thai basil. I sprayed the succulents, look, which look really, really good now. So I know it worked on the succulents and also on um, the Thai basil. So I'm going to go and get the Q-tips so I can hand pollinate the tomato and squash. And I'll turn the camera around when I get back so we can see the updates on the uh, succulents and the Thai basil. And yeah, that's everything. So, oh, and I'll give you a little uh, update on how our transplants took to the soil. All of them are, you know, standing straight up and, and looking uh, bright, reaching up for the sun. So I think they they all like their, their new homes. <laughs> so they're, they're happy. So we're happy that they're happy. And now, let's see. Okay, Q-tips. I'm going to go and get the Q-tips and I'll be right back. I'm going to put this back in its spot. All right, I'll be right back, right back. And actually, I'll turn the camera so you all get a better view of the garden. Of the garden. There you go. Is that better? Oh, let's turn this one too. I'll turn, hey, Instagram. See what y'all looking at. And let's see what they're looking at, hey. All right, I'll be right back. Going to get Q tips.
think I can be. You think I can be. All right, all right, we back. Back to the bot. All right, all right, all right. Now, you know what? Let's see. I don't want us to lose our music if I close the door all the way. But I want to turn the camera this way so you all can see what I'm doing. Okay. And let's see. Let's turn this camera. Also. Uh, can it fit? Let's see. Maybe. All right. That fits. All right. All right. All right. All right. So now. Now move around. Okay. See, there we go. All right, you see me? Yeah, they can see me. All right, all right. So, update so on the tomato. So, of course, this looks a lot less bushy than it did yesterday because I trimmed all of these up and just left a few uh, branches on here. And then the one that has our tomato growing right here, I say I trimmed this one all the way up. And it has some little flowers on here. So what I'm going to do, or nope, not this one. Nope, not that one. Ah, I think, yep, it dried up. So we can't do it with the tomatoes. So these, I don't see any more flowers. Let me do a full inspection here. Oh, there's a tomato growing though. Little small baby tomato in there. And anything else? Nope. So for this one, oh, it's on this side. I found them. So we do have some. So this is my first time doing this in the uh, hand pollinating, my first time hand pollinating. And the idea is that when, like I stay on the top floor, so I'm not one of the uh disadvantages is that i don't get all of the natural pollinators to this area like as if i was growing in the ground we get some stuff that comes up here the birds uh bees do come up here sometimes uh butterflies but they're not really circulating around this area so what they generally do in the garden your uh, pollinators birds bees and butterflies they uh go and they get nutrients from each flower and they touch them and as they're touching them they're leaving behind what they need to grow so i'm going to think like a bee <laughs> i'm going to use this cute q-tip and think like a bee and just hand pollinate just uh and when i say that i'm just going to touch the tips of the tips of the flowers with the q-tip and then I'll touch the next one. Say, hey, which one? Oh, we got another one, another tomato. So it's three, three tomatoes growing now that I see. Three. All right. So I can pollinate those. All right. So it's only two flowers though on that one. So I think that's it for our tomatoes. So now. I'm going to do so I'm going to put this Q-tip down because I use that one for the tomato. And I'm going to get another clean Q-tip and use it to do the same thing with our squash. That I believe, I don't know if this is squash, cucumber, or pumpkin, but I guess I'll find out soon because it has a lot of flowers, so the fruit is coming soon. So I'm going to just touch the inside here. Now touch the next one there. And keep it going. Touch that one. Touch you. And this is the same process that I've seen other small gardeners do. So I'm testing it out and we're going to see if it works it works for us because again just trial and error we'll see what happens wow i got it here think like a bee think like a bee <laughs> be a bee 
if I was a bee, what would I be? Say, hey, so yeah, we're up and we got this side. It's a lot on this side too. Can you see it? Can you see this side? We got the lots of flowers on this side. So let's see what we can get going. So without and i'm just gently touching the inside because again you don't want to damage your flowers just gently touching the inside Say so whatever it is, it's gonna be a lot of it. <laughs> Say so it's a lot of a lot of flowers here. If it's cucumbers, I'm gonna make some pickles. Cause yeah, I'm pretty sure I won't eat all the cucumbers so quickly. Oh, that side's good. All right. For those of you who are joining, I said I'm hand pollinating my flowers. Ah, uh, see, you can't be too too rough because it'll break off. You have to be really, really gentle. And actually, I saw today. I'll I'll do it once I'm finished, just because I forgot. I can't find out what what these are. What's wrong? Because there's you can use the capture the screen, uh, photo capture on Google on the Google app, and do a reverse photo search. So I'm gonna try it and find out if it'll tell me what I'm actually growing right here. Because whatever it is is doing very very well and. From the beginning, it was love at first sight <laughs> from this uh, tomato plant and whatever this is. they It was an entanglement. <laughs> they got entangled from the beginning. So I'm going to find out what those are. And now I'm finished hand pollinating. That's how that goes. And now I give you an update. And these are my succulents. If you all saw them before, and it's just a little left, so I might spray them again today. But this uh, like powdery, like white substance that was on there, I say I sprayed them with the uh, hydrogen peroxide and water mixture, and it got most of it off yesterday. So I'm going to spray it again today and see if it'll finish getting the rest of it off. And then, um, let's see. This one. Ah. This one. Ah big baby over here this is my potatoes that are growing right here in my grow bag and on top that is all thai basil and it smells so good i say that's all thai basil but the thai basil also had a powdery mildew on it on the leaves you can see just a little bit so it's also doing better today than what it looked like yesterday so i i'm gonna spray this one again today and it's in the shaded area so it shouldn't burn holes through the leaves because it's not getting direct sunlight on the balcony so i'm just brushing off some of the dirt on the leaves and keep them looking nice and pretty but everything this all looks very very good in the words of Tabitha Brown, very good. <laughs> so we'll put these back and I'll grab my spray bottle and spray those succulents and also the uh, Thai basil. So one moment. Ah, and grab that. So spray it. Spray off. All right. Do better. <laughs> Spray these. 
bring them all up. Up, oh, no. Yep. That's what they're doing in the back. That's for the people in the back. You gotta say it louder. For the people in the back. Back there. <laughs> all right. And more updates. So we had one of the things I did was you all saw I harvested uh, some of the green onions for my breakfast the other day. So I cut from this one. So I green onions. And actually, it looks like it needs some more water. So I'm going to hit it with some water right now. But <laughs> that's there. They sprung right back up. So they're still growing and going. So, and I found out because I was like, man, these have been producing for me all season, not just this container, but I have one, two, three, four, looks like five. I have five containers of green onions that's growing and they've all been producing since the spring. I've been eating a lot of green onions. So I'm going to hit this one with some water. Now and put it back up on the, uh, so, and green onions can take a lot of water, so that's pretty good, Let's see what it's looking like, yeah, because that was like bone dry, so you hit it with some water, and we'll let it go, I'll put it back, the rosemary doesn't like a lot of water, so it's looking dry, but I know, like, if I, yeah, like down in there is still kind of moist. The top layer is dry, but rosemary likes that. I actually might change it into a wider container so that I can get more uh, rosemary um, in the coming months. So it's doing pretty good here. I was afraid I killed th this one early on. This was one of my first five plants that I started the garden with. The rosemary, my borage did die. But I, did, I was able to eat some of the borage flowers and leaves before it went off. Hello, hello. Thanks for joining on Instagram. Thanks for joining the vibe. All right. So um, where was I? Yeah, so this was one of my first five. So I had this one, the purple Cherokee uh, tomato, heirloom tomato. I had borage. This one. The red plant, which is blood leaf, that plant, I finally figured out, that's a blood leaf plant. And what else? What else was my other five? I had one more that was in my, my first five plants that I grew. Oh, the lettuce. But yeah, those were my two unsuccessful crops, the lettuce and the borage. But I burned up my lettuce last summer. So the things that survived, my rosemary, my tomato, in my blood leaf plant so three out of five on my first try so that's okay my time i, I meant my time what is this my wheatgrass i believe i'm gonna see if i can bring it back because i think it up oh, it's i still see some green in there okay we're gonna try we're gonna try to bring this one back let's see put some water in it Say, hey, I'm going to move it from out of the sun because I figure this one doesn't like sun since it looks like this now. Um, so I'm going to let it chill out in the shade and see if that if it does better here. All right, little time. Give it a little time. We're going to give it a little time. All right. Oh, I got another one. This is my, this looks great. These are looking great. This is a uh, carrots. Um, those are carrots. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong camera. These are well, I'll show. This is hey Instagram carrots, broccoli. Now I got hey carrots and broccoli just growing in here. So this container looks pretty good too. It feels pretty moist. The plants look like they like it right now, so I'm not gonna touch it. And these are also in a shaded area. So I'm just going to put them back where they are. We have another one. Move some of this debris from out of here. Put it over there. So this one is also, and I feel like the birds might have ate some of my seeds, but we'll find out. <laughs> um, 
this one is also carrots, but it, there's only one carrot that I can see that started in there. One carrot. Ooh, can we see it? Well, I'm not. All right. I'll take a picture of it and post it on Instagram because I don't want to disturb it too much because carrots, I've been told, are very finicky and they don't like to move, which is why you shouldn't transplant them. You should just plant them, you know, wherever you're going to keep them, just leave them there. Uh, so I'm not going to mess with it too much because I don't want to kill it. Uh, what else do we have going on here? Nope. Those didn't get pollinated, but I'll leave those. Everyone else, this, this did I get this one with water yesterday? I did not. So I'm going to give this one a little water because it feels really, really dry. So, oh, and I said I got to water the mint too. So I'm going to water these two trays. So let me grab some more water. I'll move this back. And voila. Grab some more water. All right. It's pretty good. And now the next. And mint grows like like a weed, so it can take a lot of water to. Um, and it looks like I'm gonna trim some of these up. I found the thing today. I'm gonna post that online too because it was saying all of these different uses for uh, mint that I didn't know about. Because you know I just make mint tea, so I was like, oh, it's beneficial for me too to find out other ways to use mint you know, things that you can do with it. So I'm going to look that up and post it today. And I'm taking a look around. Everyone, oh, that looks a little dry. Uh, hold on, I don't want to use the rest of this stuff. I'm going to get some regular water and I'll be right back. Right back. I'm back. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you, guys. Thank you all for staying tuned in to the vibe. We're just finishing up today, taking a look around, seeing what's going, going on. Um, I was gonna my greens tray. That's a rubella and spinach growing in the bottom that I said looked a little dry. Actually, I'll pick it up before I water it so you can see. So it's looking a little dry. So, got that one. So, I'm going to hit it with some water and, you know, just keep it going because this looks like a very productive tray. So, we want to keep it, keep it going and take that out. But we'll hit it with some water. Ah, keep getting caught in this, <laughs> this tomato squash pumpkin entanglement here. All right, all right, all right, all right. There 
There you go. There's some more water. You got everybody going. Everybody growing. Everybody going. Everybody growing. Everybody growing. There you go. All right. And I'm going to put it back over here in the shade because apparently that's where it likes to be. Say cool in the shade. Ah, made in the shade. All right. So, oh, and we got to, oh, no, that one's still good. This one doesn't need any water. This is our tray from yesterday. The tray from yesterday we did, uh, what do you call it? Uh, rainbow shard, rainbow shard, and I believe that's arugula also that's growing in that one. And what else did we have? Oh, I'm gonna put some more water in. No, it looks I won't because it I'm just the top layer was dry, but it's actually pretty moist in there. So I'm gonna let me see. Let me break it up a little bit because. I don't know if it's getting a lot of air down in there because it's, it's clumped up. But there we go. We got a, and in this uh, grow bag, this is a five pound grow bag. And this is my uh, red vein sorrel and also a scarlet kale, a red kale. Um, that one doesn't need water. This is my Brussels sprouts that are growing. There. Look, I was a, <laughs> I was getting a little worried in the beginning, but because of how they were looking, but now they've bounced back and they look pretty strong. So the Brussels sprouts look really good. The uh, flat leaf parsley looks really good. And what's over there? Oh, that's broccoli, Bell Star broccoli. That one looks pretty good. I'm gonna bring it back though and check that bag to make sure. Let me see. Oh, I gotta check the growing growing conditions for my Bell Star broccoli and make sure that it's happy where it is. And just to check. This is another container of succulents, another container of succulents. Um, and I'm going to spray it too, because it looks like it has that same, that same little powdery substance on it. But it looks, this looks to be killing it, the hydrogen peroxide. So I'm going to let it chill out. Now while I'm at it, I'm going to hit y'all again. Okay, so yeah, so everyone looks good in the garden today. That's all of our, our garden work today. I'm going to start, um, I still haven't started the succession planting for the greens. And I was going to do, and actually I can do that right now. So I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to get some new seeds dropped because I keep saying that I'm going to do it and I haven't done it. And we'll, October will be over soon and I'll miss my chance. So I'm going to do it right now. Let me turn this around. Whoop. There we go. Say hey. All right. And we can get our music. Is the music still playing? Oh, one second. All right, all right. Hey, vibe. We still going, still vibing out at the vibe. Hello, hello. Who do we have? Thanks for coming. Thanks for joining me today. This was an impromptu vibe. I didn't think that I was going live today, but I had some extra time, so I said, let's get it done. Let's get it done. This is my smoothie. It's a 
strawberries, blackberries. What else in here? It's that mix. Strawberries, blackberries, and I believe blueberries or raspberries. And I put uh, maple, organic maple sugar in it. Just a little bit. Because sometimes I just blend up the fruit and that's it and just have the fruit without any sugar in it. But sometimes I do. So where did I put my seeds? Oh, I got them. So what we're going to do is, so, and I'll talk about it a little. So succession planting is when you start a crop on the first day that you can possibly plant that crop. And then a couple of weeks later, you start some more of those same seeds. And then if you want to, a couple of weeks later, you can start some more. So then once you, uh, once your produce, once your plants start producing, you can have, uh, you, when you harvest, you can harvest from that first one while the next two are growing and then harvest from the second. And then the first one will start producing again. So then you can always have food in your garden if you do succession planting. So I'm going to do some more um, lettuce. So that's uh, seeds of change. Uh, all lettuce blend. I also have seeds of change uh, arugula, and these are um, organic heirloom seeds. All of these are, uh, these two are, or no, just this one. This one's heirloom arugula. And then I also, I also have uh, spinach. So we're going to start some more spinach because I like spinach. I put spinach in everything, and right now it's like I like making ramen, so I can put ramen uh, or spinach in my ramen. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to get those going. I'm going to, let's see. I'm going to, I left my sprayer. Mm, let's see. I'm going to take these off. Let's see, got my sprayer. But I'm going to put, let's see how I want to do this. Okay, actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put my serving tray on the floor so it can be balanced. And then I'll show you all. Let's see. Let's, can it? Oh, yeah, you can not see it. Can, let's see. My hands are here. Nope, it's still too far. Let me see if I can move it back. Is that better? Yep, that's better. So it's not going to be tray. So I'm going to start my seeds here. Um, okay, so I have cups and I'm going to spray these with the hydrogen peroxide just in case, you know, anything weird got in them in between. Ah. In between growing. Ah. Things are flying around here today. So spray y'all up. Just rinse you out. Say we don't want nothing weird to get in our food. Let's make sure we clean them up. Say ordinarily, I'll take these in the house and you know wash them and spray them out. But for I know that I just use these for uh, springing the up the other seeds, the ones I just took out yesterday. So these are pretty good. I know it was nothing, no mildew or any type of issue with these containers. Oh, it's a hole in this one, so we'll throw that one away. Again, I get these little plastic cups that I start all of my seeds from, from the Dollar Tree. You can get 24 of them for a dollar. So they're a great investment for your garden because you can just keep using them over and over until they break. So it's pretty good for a dollar. And if you keep them clean, you don't have any weird stuff growing on them. <laughs> you can keep, you know, keep reusing them over and over and over again. Like I said, until you break one, because that's probably what will happen. So I'm going to fill these with some some dirt here again my soil this is a better homes and gardens uh soil that i'm using soil mix i generally fertilize with worm uh castings and also a uh, shout out to lead farmer because i use banana water and also 
use as fertilizer. That's just a, a cheap natural fertilizer. You eat your banana, <laughs> throw it in a container with some water, then use the water to water your garden. Natural fertilizer. Simple. Then you don't have to spend a lot of money because, you know, you want to keep your garden low cost. You want to be everything that's in your garden. You want to be a part of a cycle so it's not anything that's going to waste it's being reused over and over so just filling up my little containers here making them nice and neat so so now we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i said i wanted to do six of each so i need 18 18 containers. I'll do six spinach, six arugula, and six cellula. six spinach and tongue twisters, six arugula, and six lettuce. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. All right. Keep going. Let's see. I got to spray some more containers. Hey, that'll never happen again. They all fell and fell right in the container. <laughs> all right. Keep it going. Keep it going. All right. And need two more. One, two, one, two. and one more. Up oh, is that one broken? Oh no, something else. Up oh, is it? Uh, it looks like it's cracked in the center. I'm not gonna use that one. It didn't look cracked all the way through, but it will probably crack in the process of doing the next one. So we'll just prevent that from happening. So now I have, let's see, let's fill, finish filling these up. More dirt, more dirt. Man, I'm mad. <laughs> the price of Better Homes and Garden dirt went back up at Walmart. So I'm going to have to find a new dirt sale, new soil sale. Cause that was so good it was the big bag was what five dollars or six dollars that was crazy but i'll catch another sale and i'll let you all know about it next time i see one so just getting all of our succession planting done new seeds being dropped this is about the last time that you can drop stuff right now until the spring. And now, and all of this time, we're going to talk about it in another video because it's like, hey, well, during the winter, while you're not doing much, <laughs> say, what can you do for your garden? And one of the things you can do is start planting your spring garden. Like I said, this year, I didn't plan because this wasn't anything that I, uh, I just started it one day. So I didn't know like what types of crops I wanted to grow, uh, plants, things like that. So this year, I know for a fact that I want to do loofah because I want to grow my own bath sponges. So that should be really fun. So I'm going to grow some loofah and do a little trial and error and see how that goes um, in the spring. And then also I want to grow more edible flowers because the only edible flower that I grew this year was uh, borage, which I was able to eat some of the borage flowers before it died. And um, I'm just rinsing my hands off. Um, one of the, yeah, so I said loofah. I want to get some loofah um, planted. And I think I'm going to do those as hanging uh, plants. And then also, uh, 
and that will also be my first attempt at hanging plants. So, hey, we'll all learn, learn something new. And then the, sorry, I was looking at Instagram and not at YouTube. Um, the other thing that we can do is, so some things you can do is planting your fall garden and also thinking about things that you can do to uh, grow your indoor uh, garden, your indoor space. So right now I have lots of, let me see. It's about seven plants that I have inside right now by my window. So I'm going to keep those uh, going and I'm going to add, I've been really interested in uh, aquascapes. So just uh, plants that grow either submerged in water or semi-submerged in water. And I want to uh, do an aqua garden inside the house or inside. inside. So I'm going to uh, do some more research on that. I've been watching lots of different YouTube channels. So if you all have any um, suggestions on YouTubers that I should watch um, that have uh, aquascapes, uh, indoor gardens, um, what else did I say? And edible flowers. Those are some things that I'm currently doing research on because the aqua garden, I'm going to get started um, in like the next couple of months. And then, because by then it'll be really cold. Um, and then the edible flowers are something, like I said, that I want to include in my spring garden. So let's get these going. So I have the first row and I'm actually going to label these so, so I don't forget. So the first row will be arugula. Arugula is going in first. So we got arugula seeds. Let's see, arugula seeds right here. Let's see, arugula seeds. Oh, I'm trying to the way. So we got arugula seeds here. Arugula seeds. Hey, can y'all see them? Instagram. It's hard to show it. Oh, arugula seeds. Okay. So, and I'm going to plant about two or three in each container. You see how many we get to sprout. So two or three little arugula in each one. And there's a really good uh, arugula recipe uh, for arugula lemonade. And if I get Carla to come on the channel one day, she might be willing to share her, her arugula lemonade recipe, which is really, really good. So yeah, so arugula. So that, I'll definitely make some of that arugula lemonade. And then also just, you know, use it as a regular salad green. All right. And we'll cover these up, cover you up, cover you up, buttercup. And of course, you don't want to plant your seeds too deep because that just makes it harder for them to uh, germinate and come to the top. So the general rule of thumb is to plant your seeds um, half the length of your, uh, or what is it, double the length of your seed depth in the soil. So not too far down. You just wanna, want it to be down well enough to get rooted. So next I'll do the lettuce. And see, lettuce seeds. And here's our lettuce. Lettuce seeds, you all can see it. Oh, let's see if we can see them. Lettuce seeds here. All right. And I'll get these in. Again, not too far because they're really small seeds, so you don't have to bury them too deep. So, let's pop them in there and a little bit there. Oh, in there. All right, so now just gently cover those back up. All right, put the rest of these back in here. All right, so first row was arugula, second row was lettuce. My last row will be the spinach. Oh, and 
can I tape this together? Mm. Hopefully it doesn't rip. All right, we did it <laughs> without ripping it. So these seeds are a little larger. They remind me of beet seeds, kind of. But let's see. So we have, here's our spinach seeds. Spinach. And then you can see spinach seeds here. Spinach, spinach, spinach. And I'm going to plant those. Or sow these seeds. Right. Not too deep, not too deep, not too deep, not too deep. Okay, let's make sure I didn't make the holes too deep. Okay, and here we go. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. All right, so now got all of our spinach. All right, so now I can finally say that the succession planting is done. I just got to water these in because, goodness, if I didn't get this done before the end of October, goodness. <laughs> All right, hit them with a little H2O. <laughs> little H2O. Little H2O for you. Uh, actually, I'm going to do it this way because I learned the last time. Spinning it out really good. So I'm going to pour it in one of the shot glasses first. So then it minimizes my spillage here. So one. There you go. And put some more in. Say, hey, 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 I got you. Hey, 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 I got you. Hey, 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 I got you. All right. Y'all getting all watered up. Got to get that H2O. Got to get that H2O. So after this, I'm getting ready to go inside. Have me some veggie stew before I go to work. When I come back, I'm going to make me a nice salad. So I got onions, I got uh, tomato, I got avocado. Oh, it's going down, baby. It's going down at the vibe tonight. Making me a nice vibe salad. All right. Watch out, then I. Oh, shout out to, I forgot, shout out to Black Men Garden, and also shout out to uh, Black Girls Garden on Facebook. Say so shout out to both of, both of those, um, Black, Black Men Garden on Instagram, and also uh, Black Girls Garden Facebook group. I say I love that group. That's like, I've never been a big Facebook group person, but that group group really feels like you know it's solid <laughs> say i like that group so people uh share their share their gardens what they're doing their backyard gardens uh, people growing on patios in their apartments um, so i love that group. they give you a lot of information they're also where i find found out that you don't have to have a plant identification app you don't have to have a plant identification app to identify the plants that you don't know you can uh, use the google app on your phone and do the reverse image search and find find out what your plants are which is how i found out what this plant is that i've been growing all season which is blood leaf this is blood leaf now i have a name for it and i'll put a little popsicle stick in there with the name on it so i remember so one last thing one last thing for my garden today, Jasmine Vibe Garden. You all be sure to subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, 
like and share the video subscribe like and share the video out to all your friends and family uh the co-workers you like <laughs> um share it out and because other people might be growing things too and i'm growing in a really small space this is a small space on my balcony and i'm producing a lot of food out here i eat it all <laughs> i eat it all i share it with some of the nurses um when i go get my infusion i have a port that's why i did that um when i go and get my infusions i share some of my produce with my nurses you know because they they take care of me i take care of them <laughs> um Let's see what else. And last thing. So again, shout out to Dollar Tree. I use these Dollar Tree containers. This is the shoebox container is what I use as a little mini greenhouse. So when I start all of my produce, I put it in this container. So we'll move them back and say, hey, put all of my, uh, all of my produce in, or all of my uh container seeds that i start here they start right here in this shoe box and for them being with keeping the lid on because i keep the lid on them it keeps the heat in just like as if you were at a greenhouse so now those are all of our uh seeds that we just planted uh arugula spinach and what else did i plant arugula spinach and lettuce this and here this is our succession crop for the season so i'm actually i'm gonna sit it and let's see how our other while i'm looking at it let's see how our other containers doing and see you can see this one's been sitting in the sun so you can see all the condensation on it so again acts just like a greenhouse and there no sprouts yet in here no sprouts yet so we're gonna just keep an eye out on this one and these are great because just like how they were meant to be used the shoe containers where you can stack them on top of each other you can do the same thing for your makeshift greenhouse stack them on top of each other and i'm going to sit these right back in the sun so there you go back in the sun so that's everything today for the jasmine vibe garden well everything today so thank you all for coming out hope y'all caught the vibe says hopefully the music wasn't too loud catch the vibe catch the vibe catch the vibe and subscribe you gotta catch the vibe and subscribe i'll be out here uh what's coming next the very next thing <laughs> that will be posted on my channel is a small bite it's a Halloween themed, a horror themed small bite. So be on the lookout for my horror themed small bite. It's coming up. And then after that, tra track three of the vibe of TJBG. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm excited about that because, you know, just a little pop of creativity for y'all in, <laughs> in the small bite. So I'll post that one up uh, soon. Um, probably later tonight actually that it has to be later tonight because i'm headed to work soon and uh, let's see anything else uh the vibe. see the music gets you <laughs> says the vibe catch the vibe and subscribe catch the vibe and subscribe hey catch the vibe and subscribe gotta kill them with the shoulders <laughs> all right i'm gonna stop playing with y'all all right, that's uh, everything for today. Thank you all who, everybody who came by, checked out everything that's growing. Uh, I'm gonna find out if I'm growing pumpkin, squash, or cucumbers. We'll find out. I'm gonna use that Google app and see if I can figure out what I have growing over there. Um, and everything else is doing great. We're gonna keep an eye on that wheat grass, see if we can bring it back to life. Also going to keep an eye on the mushrooms that we started today. I'll be back with an update on our uh, organic oyster mushrooms. So we'll do an update there. And until the meantime, you know, keep the vibes going. <laughs> keep the vibes going. Make sure that you vibe out in your garden because they feel it. My vibes, my plants feel it. They feel the vibe. That's why they all happy. They happy like me. 
Typically, I come out and I say, hey, how y'all doing this morning? What y'all up to? Y'all having a good time? They say, yeah, we like it out here. Or somebody might say, hey, why you put me in this spot? Then I got to move it, you know, <laughs> like they be doing on the housewives. I don't like this room. They don't like that spot. So then I have to move them. <laughs> so that's what I do. Move it around. Make sure everybody happy. As of right now, everybody looks happy. So I think I have the placement for the fall garden, everyone except for the wheatgrass. We're gonna figure out what's going on with my wheatgrass, and I only use it to put in my juices in my smoothie. So, eh, but we'll see. And if not, if I actually killed that one, I'll buy another tray and start it over. Um, let's see. Our ginger up top is doing very well. The one that's on the top right, the ginger that we started in the house the other day, also doing very well. I took a look at that. Um, let's see, the habanero peppers are starting to change uh, color. I saw that this morning. They're starting to turn orange again. So, uh, yeah, everyone's everyone's going. So thank you all again. Again, uh, on your way out, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, subscribe. If you are subscribed and you've been enjoying all of the content, hit that bell button. You know, you can ring my bell. I can't sing, but y'all know, ring the bell. <laughs> ring the bell on uh, YouTube and you'll be able to see every time I come live. Uh, the only scheduled live I do is on Saturdays at 3 p.m., but all the other ones I just pop in as I have things to do or find myself with a little extra free time. So here I am today. So thank you again. And I will see you all the next time at the vibe. See you later.